Hi, I'm Sri Peruvimba for Vision Act. This is uh, Vision Act CEO Mate Zalar. Hi. Uh, we're going to talk to you about some new applications using uh, electronic paper. Uh, Mate, what is the first product that you have in your hand? So, this is an indoor sign, obviously digital. We're using electronic paper uh, to show content. Uh, for instance, this one will work for more than a year on a single charge. Can be easily uh, attached to any surface using the magnetic magnetic mounting. Use the sheet, cool. stick it to anything, uh, put the device on, uh, and work for a year or even more in one battery charge. So applications here very much uh, endless. Like your imagination is the limit. So the the device that we have here is called John. The product is called John. It's a signage device used for showing the status of the conference room or meeting room to so, you know is it booked or not, what's the event inside. And again, using the magnetic mount, can be easily attached to any surface. Um, it connects with uh, Google Calendar or Outlook or any other calendar service. Shows the and the insights. The difference from all the other uh, uh, meeting room signage stuff is that this one's battery powered, no cables, no wires, very easy to install and use. It's plug and play, um, no drilling, no hammer. You can even put them on a glass wall. You can even put them on a glass wall, on. anything. Um, and you can be up and running in mere minutes, few minutes, and that's it. Sure. So, how did VisionEct get started? What is your core capability? So, we started in 2007, and we started developing platform that will enable any signage company to use low-power displays mm -hmm. in uh, a new signage application. Mm -hmm. So, we're focusing on indoor and outdoor signage, building the platform, the, the electronics, the communications. Um, what about software? Also software, of course. Uh, here. Conference room. Um, conference rooms. We even build booking conference rooms. Uh, okay. So, um, so yeah. and for an indoor product like Joe, um, have you had the opportunity to showcase it in public? Have you uh, won recognitions for this kind of unique uh, uh, technology from? Uh, yeah, we did get quite a lot of uh, recognitions. In January, we got the CES award for. That's right. Yeah, for uh, innovation award. Innovation award for this, and then we got the Red Dot Design Award. Very nice. Like, mm -hmm. like this. It's similar, yeah. In a similar. Of course, others awards in between as well. So this was is going pretty well. So for this, for a product like this, which uh, you know presently is used um, or intended for uh, signage, uh, you know, for a conference room and so on, can you use the same things, for example, in a museum setting? We did the bigger devices, the 9.7 inch. Yes. So this is being used inside museums. Okay. For digital. Uh, Labels. Instead yeah. of paper labels, now you can use digital labels. Particularly when these museums have a lot of exhibits that constantly change, exactly. it's much easier to change this, isn't it? Yes, exactly. And so, uh, the other nice thing about museums are if they have a lot of exhibits, there are a lot of products that you can potentially market into a museum. Have you got any installations uh, in museums? Uh, we have a few museums now. Uh, the front, front runner was the Houston Museum of Arts. Right. They're already doing some demos now testing, validating the technology. Excellent. It's been going pretty well. Yeah. So the cool thing is because now this can be interactive so you can change languages, add content on the fly and so on. So many things that previously you couldn't do with the paper static information. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've been involved with e-paper for a long time and I'm so happy to hear about these kind of products that are finally being realized. They are in applications which are quite interesting. Um, how about outdoor type products? Do you make products for outdoor type applications? Okay, the outdoor is a bit different story than the indoor. Yes. And the outdoor, we work with integrators, with signage companies yes. that build final products. But we provide them the whole technology, the platform uh, to do that. So projects are anything from, I don't know, bus stops, from, we support many, a lot of different cities from London, Singapore, even back home, Ljubljana, our capital, yeah. Slovenia. 
Uh, it's where we and have some. And in the bus stop, what day information does it actually show? It shows ETAs. ETA, yeah. okay. And those signs are pretty awesome because they're solar powered. Yeah. Basically, they're self sustainable. So yeah. the only thing you need to do is bring the display to the to the point where you need ETA, and yeah. that's it. It will because we're using we have uh, GPS inside and 3G communication. Yeah. The sign itself will know exactly where it is and will show the content, and it's powered via solar, um, and that's it. And so no wires, the, no cables, no nothing. So these bus operators, obviously the benefit is they can use the existing infrastructure. They don't need to do any special cabling and things like that. Plus you provide free power literally via solar panels. Exactly. Um, what about in terms of increase in uh, people using their services because of these kind of signage? Yes. Do you have any evidence? We or? have some information that uh, ETAs, I mean the digital ETA, the, can increase the for quite a few percent from I think from three or five to seven percent. Yeah, it will increase the amount of people going to using the transportation. Well, outside of the bus stop itself, mm -hmm. what I've noticed in a lot of these buses, you yeah. can barely read the uh, uh, bus, uh, you, sure. you know, the signage on the bus itself, saying yeah. where it's going or where it's headed or what the bus number is, um, because many of these displays are not sunlight readable. Is that that's something you can do, can't you? Uh, so, yeah, exactly. One of the advantages, of course, is the sunlight readability, visibility, which is great with electronic. And lately, we even did some uh, destination plans with buses, where now instead of uh, paper or some other technology, the electronic paper is being used. And here, for instance, this is uh, road signs that are now deployed throughout uh, Sydney showing some special information about parking signs. Before, these were very confusing in, in Sydney. Mm -hmm. Now with this application, we kind of um, let people know when they can uh, park or not park. Um, uh, the good thing again with this sign is it's self-sustainable. On the back it has small solar cell. Yeah. Um, no wires, no cables, easy to install. That's the key. Uh, and it's perfectly visible even on direct sunlight. So you can take this um, from the street signs to bus stops, mm -hmm. you could probably put them in train stations. Sure. And um, uh, because it's so light, and the fact that it requires so little power and sunlight readable, can you mount them on an aftermarket kind of application on vehicles? Uh, maybe behind a truck, is that something that you could do? We even had some applications where I think, okay, this is another bus stop in Ljubljana where we're using electronic paper to show before stat information and now this is, of course, digital. But yes, we did have some application, applications doing uh, advertising on the back of uh, road trucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, again, no power, very easy, easy to read application. So, Excellent. Many, many different applications. Excellent. Yeah. And this, all of this technology for this end product is all made by your company, Vision Act. Yes. And you have um, engineering, R&D, and uh, uh, including uh, manufacturing assembly and everything in-house. Yeah, sure. Manufacturing is outsourced to our partners, but we do all the development in-house. Correct. So, yeah, manufacturing is being done. We have some assembly being done in uh, back in uh, our country in Slovenia yeah. but also in China in some parts are being done here in Germany also so all over the place looks like you've deployed products in the US you've deployed them in Europe and all over yes. um, so what is the next step for vision act um, you, you know if it is your vision for vision act sure. um, where would you like to see these both these indoor products and outdoor products go what kind of applications markets are you targeting so, like, generally, we target the signage. Yes. But we're not going that much into advertising, but more into information mm -hmm. to museums, uh, I don't know, hotels, outdoor bus stops, train stations, and, and so on. So It makes perfect sense, because you're not trying to do video or that, that kind of exactly. a thing. Yeah. You're providing very useful information. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so in your devices, when you compare them uh, with LCD, how much lower power is it? It's 
roughly less than 1% of power is being used by a device like this one compared yeah. to LCD or LED device, the same size. So, uh, otherwise, it's like you save 99%. You save more than 99%. More than 99%. Yes. That's just fantastic. That makes uh, the product. Oh, there you go. Yeah, more than 99%. <laughs> it makes it so much unique, particularly those cities that are trying to be green, mm -hmm. those companies and applications that are trying to be green as well. Exactly. And green cities, uh, smart cities is a big thing nowadays and everybody is trying to develop something in that direction. Right, right. And you can enable all of these kinds of products. Exactly. Okay, excellent. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you, Sri. Yeah.